good evening, everybody. We're back. <clears throat> we. My T Rex is empty. What a terrible way to start a stream. It's only going to be a back nine. It's only going to be a tiddler. There are already a sleuth of streamers live playing to the world. I appreciate you being here. Do please make sure you're checking out Pete, Peter Johnson, Legend, David McMinnamy, Rabito. Link these people. Link their stream right now. Peter Johnson and Christopher Davis Hagen. You might know him as GC Addict TV. Link that stream, please. Um, anyone else who's live, please shout them out. Uh, welcome, Mario Man. Great to see you, AJ. Joe, good to see you. Michael Gillitz, Randy Hans, Rabito, pleasure. Sorry to be giving you instructions before I've even greeted you. It's a pleasure to see your face. Oh, Matthew, good to see you. David Frank, thank you for being here. David McMinnamy, same goes. Apologies. Um, but, you know, work before play and all that. Nick, great to see you, buddy. And Pete, my boy, great to have you in here. William, and uh, happy Thanksgiving, absolutely, David, to everyone who celebrates such a holiday and event. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Greg, thank you very much for the good luck. Welcome. So, I just played the nine. Um, chilling there with Kimmy watching The Crown and uh, it went alright 17 17 under um, no Albers no Albers in fact let me show you some fortune you know let me show you a little fortune because I had two occasions where the ball went round the hole three times very rare 9, 8, 7, 6 6 so, this would have been the Alba, obviously. Um, but alas, this one did not drop. Uh, so right back here at Min, I'm playing this. Thank you very much, David McMinnamy. Look, he even labels it. He even labels it. Yeah, so basically, if I'd have just asked Fenzi, then there wouldn't have been any need to not stream. Um, so... Lesson learned. Ask Fenzi. Hashtag that. Let's get it trending. Um, and yeah, basically there was nothing to fear. And uh, apparently it should all be back to normal after this one that needed a little bit of jiggery pokery to get set up. Um, KNB, welcome in. Ken, thank you very much. Uh, you can give me half a thumbs up. Um, I really thought it was in. It was coming in real slow. Um, but you know, two left, too far left. That was aimed straight at the pin as well, so I might just bear that in mind. Uh, five four, um, and then this one three times around and in, which is just when does that ever happen to have the speed to go three times around? Here I'm playing just a one to one adjustment with half a top spin all the left. Um, and back here in the middle of this uh, rough area. Um, one to one, like I say. Three times round and in. Right, we're gonna get started straight after watching this. The sweat towel is on hand. Mr. Bullingham, my Exeter boy, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Archer, good to see you, buddy. Um, so, oh, a full thumb, a full thumb. Check this out, then we'll get going. Um, hole one, hole one, got it on the front. Uh, could do with that. Oh, it was only two times around. Apologies. I'm over egging the pudding. I'm over egging the pudding. Still, two full ones round. Um, all right, shut up and play some golf clash then. Um, the rest of the card didn't get seven. No Albers. Uh, I think there'll be a lot of cards looking like that. I do. I do. I know this. I know there is a thought that it won't be as bad as we think. I disagree. I disagree. I think this will be Americana Classic all over again. Um, and you know, we've just had a hard one. Now we've got an easy one. It's it's hard in a different way. Um, we don't need that. 
We don't need that, because um, we're going to play a no-spin. I'm going to play 1 to 1 plus 2 on the drive, and 1 to 1 plus 0.5 on the sniper approach. No, no jiggery-pokery required here, in my eyes. Let's not make things overly complicated. There. Should we get some? Should get some action. Let's get some action. Just gonna do it in one. Ugh. That was cavalier from start to finish, but whatever happens here, it always seems to be 336 or 337 yards. Um, and the adjustment will be the same, um, which will be, you know, red ring partially in the fringe. I'm playing, I think I'm playing seven backspin. I haven't actually counted them, but I know how many I'm playing. Tony Richardson, I tell you what, if you want to see some high class, class golf clash content, right? Make sure you're clicking on that name right there and hitting subscribe. And then you click videos and feast your eyes on the one that says qualifying minus 19, minus 18, minus 17. Yes, minus 19. Um, he hooked up his qualifying, it's fair to say. Uh, when, I don't need that, when uh, slightly inebriated after a night out. Right, that's me. That's me as well. well it was. There you go, that's me. So... 8.8. .8. Straighten up that wind a little bit. Boom's in the chat. <laughs> so, can it be? Can it be? We got wheels and we got Tezza. Come on then. Come on then. We got Anthrax. Welcome in and boom da richie good to see you big arnie in the house there we go there we go thank you for the good luck ken that's what we need that is what we need oh right i'll be straight over there um and that is again another reason that this is not going to be a full round because there's so much going on there's so many streamers i want to be watching peter johnson and i imagine he'll be doing a couple because uh, he's got a few accounts and um he usually streams the lot so uh, we need to be over there watching peter johnson he will be he will be one of the people that we're reading about on sunday night putting on a minus 40. that's a fact right he is a machine and he's got so many accounts, everything will be dialed in. So far, I believe the only uh, hole causing him trouble is seven. Um, and he's getting all the Albers, he's getting all the Aces, he's getting all the Eagles, apart from seven. But with JJ in his corner, who is dropping it for fun, it will not be long before Peter's dropping the lot. And JJ as well. And Tony Richardson as well. There's many, many people got this uh, course locked in. Uh, I've been there. Been there. I've been there. Roll your eyes all you want, mate. We got Golf Clash to play. Come on, then. Now, I used the last spider ball on the front nine. Um... And I did buy a pack of feathers, dropped, dropped me a deep sea diver, and picked up some 10 feathers on here on my other account. And I don't know which one. It might be Dougie. I invested more heavily. As soon as I saw it was three side spin, 
we do like a three side spin. This is why I've got the app set up ready here with a basic ball plus 30% max adjustment. That's what I'm playing. Uh, I know other people are playing it differently. I'm playing it like this. Come on then, Michael. I'll join you. Five, three. Five, three. So just a right spin, and then ball guide up to the hole. Doesn't need to be that killer. And you want to be on the north side of this uh, plus two. I'm going to play it more. I must have some backspin on that. I need to get a riddle on six six. Too many rings. This is an absolute Horlix. Only a great ball would have made that worse. Um, but is there room to play with? There is not. There is! Oh, wow, I thought that was a ring around the rosy and spit you out job. Whew. Yes, please. Yes, please. There we go. Katie B, Leighton as well. Welcome in, brother. Good to see you. How's your tournament going? Timmy Carroll, welcome. Greg, 90731. Thank you for being here. Love the unicorn. Um, so that's the start. That's the start. I did say in Pete's stream, you know, if you want to be guaranteed that gold medal, I believe you need to be, um, you need to be 11 under through five. That's what I believe. To be, to be like, well on for your gold. Eleven under on five. It has to be making hay in these early holes. That's what I believe. We shall see. We shall see. Whoa there! That was cavalier ring play. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. I'm gonna wish that player all the luck because they need some luck um all right i missed it on the front missed it on the front gotta drop it now gotta drop it now i'm playing a, a no no moving target start um it's already at the max line it's where i want to be um, but apart from that, I'm just playing the Tony Richardson method of getting it down there to set up a guardian. <sighs> Deary me. And I'm going to use the APOC 4 with max top and right and see what's occurring. Zero elevation, max number. See if I can get a perfect ball. Ryan McManus, thank you very much for being here, buddy. Um, you got that towel ready, Tony? But this is the Tony Richardson shot, and I hope I can do it justice in front of the great man himself. Right, I'm gonna unplug that and hope 96% is it. Oh, for goodness sake. I thought I was plugged into the mains. I'm not plugged into the mains, I'm plugged into that. That was a, that was a rookie error, wasn't it? All right. All right, we're back. My bad. Whew, pulling off, pulling off the Tony Richardson Albert in front of Tony Richardson it would be one of the greatest golf clash accolades that I have ever achieved. And that isn't a big list of accolades, you know. I don't wanna, I don't wanna be accused of um, embellishment there. That'll do me. Yes, come on then. Come on then. It was like 359 on the front, Tony. Not good enough. There we go. That's amazing. That's amazing. 378. So 
on that basis, I'm going to play the mid number. I'm going to play the mid number. Maybe a fraction less. Maybe a fraction less. But what I've found is, when I've missed, I have never missed because of an over adjustment. I've only ever missed with an under adjustment or a great right. Um, Oh, you're talking about my man there on uh, hole two, Michael. <laughs> strange. But, you know, it used to be very common. That used to be the way. That used to be how everyone adjusted before people understood rings. That many. The two successful ways that I've observed here are the Tony Richardson method and uh, the method that Tommy plays from the left hand side of the green with the sniper and right spin and you use the uh, you use the um, the back like a NASCAR track. Bugger off. 8-4 So I might go 6-2 Whoa Oh shit Oh no Gosh darn it. No idea where the ball was centered there in the um, target. Oh, and I have over adjusted. Damn. Good save though on the spin. I'm, I'm pleased. I'm pleased. I am pleased I remembered the spin. That very same error cost me what would have still been to this day my only master banner. Um, and I did that same mistake, um, flew the green, didn't chip in, I needed a birdie for a bronze, and the par put me in like 14th. <laughs> Search his master, and that was on hole 17 as well, hole 17 of the weekend round, gutting. Niraj, great to see you buddy. Oh. So, it's six under after three, uh, which, you know, not to be sniffed at. Now, can we hit a perfect ball when it counts? Hit this slither of rough. Gone for the classic NCS tonight instead of the, um, the gaming music, which is slightly more banging. Um, Thought we'd go classic top 50 on shuffle. So who knows what we're gonna get. Uh, all right, hole, what are we on? Four, I get you. So we're gonna use a feather ball. Could use a Zenith, uh, could use a Centurion. Have I got any Centurions? I have no Centurions. Could use a Kingmaker. Uh, you need the side spin. Um, so I'm favoring a, um, like, Half a back, half a top spin, maybe, maybe even a fraction less. All the left, um, ball guide up to the hole, one to one adjustment, golden, golden. If you hit perfect ball, obviously. If you don't hit perfect ball, there may be trouble ahead. But if you can hit a perfect ball, fill your boots. That's, that's where I want it. Up there in the hole. And then one to one. Felt like I'm over adjusted that. See if I miss left. Straight in. Straight in. <laughs> Leighton! Oh my life, I was being shredded in 
basically every group chat I was in. The amount of the amount of gifs I saw of people tapping watches and clocks running quickly and people just abusing me, basically. Um, well, I've not seen this method before. This be interesting. Um, Oh, I want a Tony Richardson yardage table. We all we all know the Tony Richardson yardage tables. Anyone who's familiar with uh, Tommy's Tommy's Golden Shot content will know Tony Richardson is at the bottom of the uh, of the of the graphic. Why you might wonder? Because that's the genius that compiles Tommy's genius into readable data that wins at us. Um, all those lovely zerks and epic club cards. You know this man, you love this man, you need to subscribe to this man. Um, all right, so it is the same as same as before then, isn't it? Now I'm playing the Tony Richardson method here and I noticed that um, it also swayed Pete as well. So Pete's also playing this way. Um, it's on. It is on big time. Um, it's uh, it's trick. It's tricky, Tony. It's tricky because it, you know master is basically a, for the people at the top level of the game that are intending to win gold medals in master this weekend. It's like. It's like this course is to us lot, you know. Um, they want a they want a thirty eight or forty. They want silly numbers. Um, and to me, it's I, I just can't play master like that. I, I am incapable of playing master at that level. Um, so to me, it's a great challenge. And even when even when it's all makeable, you've still got to hit a perfect ball. And that is very much where I'm struggling because I still haven't resolved the phone issue. So I'm still using like very poor equipment and I can't get the time in. Cannot get the time in. Right, nice big wind. So it's gonna be four and all. I've gone just a click under four on the top just because it is a fairly healthy wind. And then center of the dot up here, close to the edge. We wanna be landing here. And we will, if we hit a perfect ball. So that, just to recap, it's just a tiny smidge less than four and then all. And then a great left, which didn't hurt me on the front, but will it hurt me now? Little bit of curl. Comes in like a little booty. And this is not like, this isn't a gimme, don't get me wrong, but Compared to the alternatives, um, I'll take that. Muzza, 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 muzza on your non-moderated account. What are you doing? And welcome, my brother, my brother. How is Friday morning treating you? Badger, come on, Nani Badger. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Right. So it's not many, is it? It's not many rings. Um, it's not many rings. Sure. What do we think here? Two and a half? Three? Three. Let's go three. Ooh. Don't like it being so far away. Oh, don't like a great left with the wind. I like the eagle. All right, 10 under on this. Exactly the same as the front. Exactly the same as the front. 10 under for the five. And I, I, I do believe it is required. I do, I do believe it's required. If you want to win this tournament, you need to be 10 under after five, minimum. 
Minimum. Phil! It's going well, buddy. Thank you. That'll do, pig. That'll do. All right, so. Oh, seven is the one. We've got to start dropping seven. Got to start dropping seven. At some point, you know, if not today, tomorrow. SYB, tomorrow. Be there or don't. But it will be on, regardless of your attendance. Um, right, so what is it now? Oh, all right. It's that beautiful time of the day, everyone. In fact, it was a titan. It's that beautiful time of the day. It's extra mile time. We need a jingle for that. Someone make me an extra mile jingle. <laughs> Full beans extra mile at that. Felix Torres, great to see you, buddy. Um, I'm gonna, I'm like, I'm still finding what I believe to be the best ways, right? So, as you just saw there on hole five, I'm definitely gonna be adopting that method. I believe Tony did that with a extra mile seven. I just did it with an APOC four. Um, do not fear hole five, right? It's as hard as we want it to be. And there's an easy way there. Hole eight, there's an easy way there. If you've got an extra mile, it's there's an easy way. If you don't mind doing a, a, a hook shot. Um, nine, I've done once. One time, I've swapped over to the Peter Johnson method, not just the Peter Johnson method, the Bushwhackers, Shot Pack method, JJ Brandon, uh, Brendan, I beg your pardon, um, Jesse and the crew. Uh, but the, the, the expert shotsmiths are on point, right? They are on point. So they're going right on nine. Like I say, I've just done it for the very first time. It was horrific. Got the eagle, um, and I will take that all day long because uh, I played it like an absolute chimp. So, <sighs> as you look, come on then. Give me a big number. I want to be down here towards Min. That's an added rollout. That has not rolled out. I'll take the applause though. I'll take the applause. And I hope you guys are also applauding. Um, Goliath rough bump for seven. Well, I'm very much open to an alternative approach on seven because it's one of the most frustrating one of the most frustrating holes uh, because I watch JJ's um, approaches to that on his on his channel and it just he does exactly what I do and it goes in every time and my misses every time explain it someone explain it without the need of a tinfoil hat um, whoa Oh, I don't fancy that. Fenzy. He's got a Fenzy. Fenzy potential here is massive. Right, so we're not... Oh, I just don't understand the roll. The different rollouts there are crazy. Um, I'm just going to oh, not put the QB on. Um, I'm just going to pull a figure out my bum hole here. Yeah, which is probably going to be about seven... Maybe a bit less than that. I'm gonna go right edge. And go, yeah, less than I think. Seven three. Whoa! What happened to the time? Ah. So as I was missing left anyway, a great left, yeah, massively left, and it looks like another perfect would have been on the left as well. But who knows? It looked like a huge under adjustment as well. Wretched, pretty wretched. Come on then, come on then. Oh, I don't like that. He doesn't, see he doesn't need to overpower this. Oh, thank goodness for that. 
Um, he had no need to overpower that. Um, but he pulled it back and let it go. Boom! Um, all right, nothing doing there. No Albers again. No Albers again. This is so glitchy. This is so horribly glitchy. Even that putt scared me. Um, I, yes, Luke, unless you walk away from the screen, I will be showing the curl. The curl will be visible. It will. So that's what I'll be using. Yes, because this account has no toys to play with. An extra mile four is not a toy. Um, neither, of course. Oh, shit. Wrong. Uh, sorry for that. Uh, wrong emoji. Um... Okay, so here we go then. In the absence of knowledge of the, did you say Goliath rough bump? Dread to think, dread to think what that looks like. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna miss this um, no spin sniper. Just like always, Jonathan Simmons. Good to see you, thank you for the good luck. Um, <laughs> Thank you, HB. All right, eight nine. All right. So that is the way JJ sets it up. Second bounce, definitely the left hand side of the fringe and the ball guide going through the hole. Uh, so that's going to work out at about uh, so seven six ish, playing with less uh, than JJ. So I keep missing really high, and I don't want to keep missing high. I want to miss low if I'm missing. Now where's your bounce? Oh, that's, that is low. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Um, that was really low. Now, this is a weird one, because on, the, on these ones where the ball has a long way to travel from its first bounce to its intended destination, it's very common that in order to get a drop, the ball will take a consistent path. Whereas here, when I've watched Tony Richardson drop it on his 19, um, his second bounce was on the green. He even commented on, on himself because he was at, he'd was he seen the shot and uh, and knew that traditionally it's dropped by bouncing on the fringe second bounce. And he said, oh, it's on the green, it's not in. And it went in. Um, also, the third bounce, more often than not, it goes, it goes fairway, fringe, green. I've also seen it fairway, fringe, fringe, and still go in. This absolutely no. Oh, this is in. This is in. Oh no! No. Um. Five out of six wheels. What's the uh, what's the setup? Is it the you know a better version of what I've just done? Tommy, my boy, 100% on seven in expert. What are you doing, Tommy? Looks like blue ring is too deep in the shadow. Well, what I was doing there, Jason, was rather than like trying to line it up with a very specific um, target position, it was the ball guide position. And it was wrong, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm just trying different things. I, I noticed Pete searching yesterday, he went with a 1201 and it was like, you know, we're trying. We're, we're, we're trying to understand why it's going in for JJ, but not for anyone else. Well, not, not for anyone else, because as you can see, Tommy's dropping it, Jesse's dropping it, uh, Wheels is dropping it. Um, and, you know, plenty of people dropping it. Plenty of people dropping it. Right, can we have a big finish here? Can we have a big finish here? Now, is my man watching? 
because now is the time if you want to observe some curl for hole 17 to do so. So I'm just going to get the app plumbed in and what we're going to do is visualize the wind before we start our hook. But basically the hook, because I've not seen the wind angle change on this one at all, basically the ball guide always seems to appear, and this doesn't matter what club you're using, um, through the center of the tree that I'm going to end up in. Uh, whereas initially at the start of the week I was very much more to the left of that tree, but again having observed Peter Johnson and the tweaks that he's made, other tweaks would be not using full left spin, using four and a half left spin. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna give this full back with the extra mile um, eight, which is like, I don't know, four and a half, four and a click. Um, and use just as, just, it's basically max curl, maybe a smidge inside. Um, and it just came in lovely, like just around the hole and then loop back, tiny little putt I had. Here we go, Luke, here we go. Ken's dropped it two out of two. Wheels will be back in a minute. Oh no, 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 no. All right, we need to save our man with a, with a Alba here. Oh, that's a big wind. So I'm actually, oh dear, I'm already making the same mistake again. I'm actually just gonna go with um, four back. Just gonna go with four back just because that wind is a bit bigger. And that is in fact gonna make me start a little bit more to the right. So I am going to be there on the right hand side of that tree. Normally you're in the middle of that tree, but there we go on the curl, ball to the outside edge of the outside circle. And hope we land nicely to come down. That isn't landing nicely to, all right, it is, but normally the second bounce is on the fairway. But again, maybe I should have knocked off a whole backspin there with that 9-1 wind. Uh, but we live and learn. And if you're in possession of an APOC 5, uh, I say APOC 5, that's got even less backspin, an APOC 6, um, then in a lighter wind, fill your boots on backspin. Go 5, go 5.5. Um, Danny Spring. Welcome. Have I even said hello to you? I saw Mrs. Spring knocking around in, um, in Fenzie's chat earlier on. I love the springs. Man, we've got another gold clash couple here. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, and does Emma play as well, Danny? Is it the gold clashing springs? That would be amazing. Um, first Alba, lovely. Man, I need to start dropping some more Albas. I thought it was going to be an Alba fest at the start of the week. I was dropping Albas left, right, and center. And now they've all dried up. The traditional Alba dry up fest. So I've got a load of room here. No! Two rings. Two rings. Two rings. That's a waste. That is a waste. Now it needs to be an Alba for a 34. And I thought that was an in all day long. Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. Happy Thanksgiving to you, my friend. Thank you very much for being here, buddy. Wow, what a terrible, terrible shot. I should have just outside edged the ball guide and played it. No need to be cute there. It wasn't gonna move a whole cup with a seven, eight wind uh, going that distance. That was my fault. Totally stupid on my part, adjusting that. I did think, oh, that's gone a bit far, but I thought it's two rings at the end of the day. So, error, error, error. Could have done with a famous great left there. That would have been lovely. We'd have been none the wiser thinking everything was in anyway. 
Um, all right, so we need hole nine. Well, at least I've got to show you the uh, curl. Um, don't do that with your chip, is my advice. Oh, good luck, mate. Um, oh. Damn. Damn! Um, hole. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it needs to be a Peter Johnson style ending then. As he finished off his stream qualifying last evening. Oh, I can't wait to get over to Pete's channel. Don't forget, can someone please link Pete's stream again? Um, don't forget, immediately following this hole, I'm going to be straight over to Pete's channel, hanging out over there. Absolute legend. I cannot stress enough what a beast this guy is. And... Um, He's back. He's back streaming. You know, he had a hiatus where, you know, other things were uh, occurring. But now he is back and he's streaming. He puts out loads of content. Massive, massive streams. I'll go to bed watching him for an hour and then I'll wake up in the morning. He'll still be streaming. Boys a machine. Two devices streaming Tour 11 at the same time. Been doing that for ages. He even inspired Tommy to do the same thing. Thank you, Tommy. That is the link straight in to the great man's channel, Peter Johnson. And there you can expect big things. He wouldn't have missed that chip I just missed. Fact. Lily, great to see you. Homegrown, great to see you as well. Um, she doesn't. I was just going back to look for Danny's answer there. She doesn't. Uh, I've, I've heard this answer before. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Apologies, apologies. All right, so in this wind, it's going to be the full one, and um, it's not all the left, it's all but one of the left. Uh, so it's one and all but one of the left. Um, however, what uh, Pete did yesterday was, in the bigger wind, he's, uh, he's dropping that back to 0 0.8. Just worth knowing, you know, don't get uh, so... Um, regimented in your adjustments that you can't then make uh, additional changes if required. Okay, so we want this going aggressively close to the end. Just like that. And then this sniper is going to be minus 5% on the max number with... I, honestly, like I say, I've only just done this one time. Um, it was awful. It was absolutely awful. It was only a nine, and, uh, Ian, but thank you for being here for hole 18. Um, yeah, I played the front nine off stream uh, and just came on. It would have been the same had I not just missed a chip from the fringe on um, 17. Inexplicably, but one opportunity I have to correct that is right now. Um, so I'm going to play about four top spin, a couple of left spin, see if I can get this ball guide where I where I've seen it to be going um, because ugh, <laughs> it was a mess basically on the front nine it was a mess um, which is fine because it's the very first time I've done a shot and I need to uh, I need to just see it a few more times um, ooh, the computer's making sounds uh, Latvian YouTuber, great to see you. Minus 26 in pro, good. Good numbers. Uh, good numbers. Um, all right, 7 2. Minus 5 is what I've got in there. It should be about 7. Yeah, it is 7. Okay. Um, oh, wait, that might actually be in perfect position. I might just go with one spin according to ball guide because that's what I want there. Seven. One time. One time for the homie. Oh, good, that's the angle that Pete got both times. He missed it once and it went in once. Get left, get left, get left, get left. Oh, not enough. Good, close, nice finish. Pleased with that, 
pleased with that. Um, so maybe... You see, I don't know if being more left on the ball guide would kick it more right when it goes up the slope, or if in fact it needed to be straighter. Uh, and instead of being left of pin, just straight at the pin in the initial setup and come down more to the left. I don't know which if it works in reverse or if it works the way we'd expect, where left means left and right means right. Because on a up and down, left might mean right and right might mean left. So these things need to be experimented with. But from that position, uh, it seemed to put me, ideally, without having to move the target, uh, very, very similar to how it was when Pete dropped his. <laughs> Mikey Bizzle, my boy. My Sutton home slice. Coming in at the death. Um, where you been? Where you been, sweetheart? Come on now. It's the end. Um, all right then. So, enjoyed hanging out with y'all, I can tell you that. If you can stomach any more of this, there'll be 18 full holes for your viewing pleasure tomorrow night. Um, this is what the card looks like. No. Wow, third. That sucks. Uh, that's what the card looks like. Alba free. Unfortunately, that that skid mark on 17 is not going to sit well with me, especially if it costs me anything come uh, come tournament time, um, tie break time rather. Already looks suffering with the poor tie break there. So. Um, Yes, Tony, there we go. Don't forget, Peter Johnson, he's streaming now. He's probably going to be on for a long time because he has many accounts. So uh, there'll probably be at least a full one, probably the last remnants of the first one. James West, thank you so much for being here, buddy. Much love to you all. Good luck if you're playing your opening rounds tonight. If not, I'll see you tomorrow if you can stomach any more of this. Bye-bye now. <laughs>